All right, y'all. So you may be wondering why I still waste my time making content about VV and Ikomi. I'm still an investor. I still hold VV collectibles. I still hold the Omi token. So obviously I am interested in it being successful. The reason that I, I make my content really though is because I started off with this project. I started diving in, studying, doing research, learning about all of this stuff, really how to do it properly through this through this project. I met so many really great connections, so many great people, and I learned so much more, more than I ever would have learned in my life if I wasn't surrounding myself with the proper people. I was so ignorant before thinking that I knew everything. It was so much stuff that I was getting wrong before. And I had very strong convictions. I was just a fool with those strong convictions. And surrounding myself with the right people really got my head together, got my head on straight and really taught me the things that I needed to know and how to be the person open to receiving more that I can use to grow and become even better. And I make content for people who may be in that same position that I was in. Like, or, or, or just want more information, who want to be better, who want to change their lives, who want to build wealth, who want a real opportunity, because it's very important to get real information. I don't think that there's a lot of real information out there when it comes to Vivi, um, <clears throat> because I, I think so many people, so many of us, when we jumped into Vivi, we were very inexperienced. So we'll accept bad and negative things, bad and negative habits certain stuff that comes with huge insane risk because we just didn't know better and there's a lot of people who still don't know better but i feel like i'm now in a place where i can help give people you know a little bit of guidance when it comes down to yo you might want to be careful of that you might want to look out for that because as an investor if you're looking to profit you don't have to you don't have to be hit by this before you realize that that's dangerous right there. You don't have to put yourself in a position where you have to take on that kind of risk. Now, you haven't heard me tell anybody to dump anything VV related, to dump anything OMI related. I just said, personally, they haven't shown anything that would make me buy more. I didn't say sell everything. It would be stupid to sell with everything down this low. If, you, if your stuff is falling this low, you might as well write it out to zero. But to still be buying more and having conviction and things like that, they've sh shown nothing, nothing to be to to warrant that at all. They haven't been delivering anything that that they they've just been writing very work, well worded articles. But they've always done that. People so scared that they're gonna miss out. Oh, if they announce owe me the NFT, I got to get in before they do that. Bro, this project been down in the dirt for how many years now? You think Omi the NFT is going to do it? It's just going to certainly blow to the moon at that point? Come on now. Come on now. We've seen this how many times? Don't fall for the hype. There's nothing that's going to just make this project go parabolic like it did before. You want to know what made that happen before? And this is why it's important to educate yourself and really understand why something happened before as well. The reason that it blew up then is because there was a lot of fake money within VV. Also, the narrative, the NFT narrative was big. People didn't understand NFTs. We thought that because Vivi had licensed NFTs, that was going to make it better. When in reality, we know now that it could potentially be worse because you can't actually own uh, another, another company's IP to the extent that you can own some random NFT that just gets created on the blockchain. So they're not going to be as valuable for the ownership aspects as, you know, you know, as some, some random projects. It's like, you get to hold a piece of that IP and be a part of something big, but being a part of something big is all contingent on them doing something big with that IP that you're holding. So you can hold Spider-Man, but if that's all you get to do is hold Spider-Man, it's only ever going to be so valuable in a world where they're going to have a bunch of stuff you can hold and it come with 20, 30, 40 different benefits. And you have the one thing that is Spider-Man, but it has no benefits associated with it. So... That's why I preach the importance of understanding the space around the space around these these projects and, and the space around Vivi, because the more you broaden your mind and broaden your perspective, the more you'll put yourself in positions that's more favorable to you. I'm not one of these influencers out here looking for myself, regardless of if you love me, regardless of if you hate me, I'm going to put myself in the best position for me. It does not matter what you say, what you think of me. None of that matters. And that's how it should be for you. You have to put yourself in the best position. Right now, so many of you are in a position where VV fails, it screws you. You think that's wise? And then to cope, you'll say things like, oh, 
You just sound like you don't know what you're talking about these days. Yeah, I know I sound like I don't know what I'm talking about because you're not hearing the shit that you want to hear from me. You you pray for the day you see the video where I'm bullish again and I'm saying, oh, that's the thing that's going to change everything because now you got a little more hopium. Stop being addicted to the hopium drug. Stop, stop it. Get strong investment practices and you won't have to be worried. You won't have to be panicking. You won't have to be in a position where you're hoping for somebody to say some good news because you'll have real conviction and know that your shit's going to go up. Every investment that I have, I am very confident holding my investments. If any of them goes to zero, who gives a shit? I can afford to lose anything in any of my investments. Any of them. I can afford for Vivi to go to shit. I can afford, I can, I can afford for all of my AI stocks to go to shit. All of my game, I can afford that. But what is the likeliness of every single thing that I'm holding, especially with the research that I do? Y'all saw what I did with Vivi. What are the likeliness of everything going to zero? I mean, come on now. It's just some, some things just aren't even realistic. When you do good research, when you do good work, the results follow. So this is why I try to stress to people that you need to start putting in more research. You need to start understanding why I see the things the way that I see it. You, you can, if you have the same information as me and you interpret it different, that's one thing. But if you shoot down what I'm saying and you don't even have the same information, you don't even understand how I got there, you don't understand the information that I'm presenting, you don't even want to hear it, it's just something negative to VV, so I'm, I'm footing, that is why you're in a position to keep losing. This is why you've been losing, and this is why you're out here at VV's mercy hoping for something, some, some form of change. Like, look at, look at this tweet. This is why I have this open. My man said if VV doesn't have a bull run in 2024 slash 2025, They'll lose a huge chunk of their investors and collector base. How? Y'all are collecting for the love of it, right? How how would how would Vivi lose their collector base? Like, aren't y'all true collectors? Aren't y'all holding, not looking for something in return? You're not looking for value. You're not looking to make a bunch of money or nothing. So how would them not having a bull run affect anything whatsoever? It should just be about the fun, right? Oh, but what? Let me guess. Taking pictures with these collectibles, what, four or five years later? That shit ain't fun no more, is it? It's like all the stuff that really should be common sense, you're in a position where you can't even admit it to yourself. Look at how many metaverses is coming out here in the NFT space. Look at how many new metaverses there is. Look at how much new technology there is. Look at how the world is changing. There's so much going on in the Web3 space, and this space is beautiful. And y'all so caught up on your Batman statue bringing you some money because you were over, you put yourself in a terrible position years ago. If you've been in this same position where VV goes to shit, you deserve, if you're still in the same position today, today, you deserve to, to be hit by whatever's coming to VV if you're still in that same position. Because you've had how long to put yourself in a better position? And yet here you go still crying about VV. I'm as bullish as there gets. I doubt there's a quarter of this community, a small percentage who's done as much research as the VV as me, who's had as much conviction as me. Look at all my videos. Look at all my content. Look at how long I was bullish. Look at how long I was going against everything. And unlike most other people, I was fair. I gave VV years. I gave VV years to show something. When I spoke on something, I was never critical. I was... I t we just want a little, we want answers. But after saying we just want answers for two years and receiving none. Now, I don't trust anything you have to say. Because you had a lot to say back when we were giving you all this money. Back, back when everything was looking, you had a lot to say. Oh, Batman's going to scale walls in the VV-verse. We're going to be in Walmart. Y'all had so much to say. Now y'all gotten silent. And y'all really ain't doing shit still. You don't release the whole comic book app that's just for y'all to bring in more money for Disney. It's like, yeah, it, it sounds, it's, it be sounding cool. Y'all just present bullshit and make it seem as though it's for the community. When I see something that's truly for the community, I'll speak on it. I'll be happy for the community. You know, I, I'm still going to be fair. I'll always be fair with this project. But... I don't make content for the VV team. I make content for the average person who's just like me, who came from nothing, who came from the bottom, the 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 poor or middle class. That's what that's who my content is for. And those are the same people who shit on you, but it's never doing better than you. 
Like you, people can say whatever they want about my career in VV. I have never spoken from a position of taking L's. I've been successful from the moment I stepped into this community. All of my moves that I've made, I've been successful from the moment that I stepped in this community. And you have people who will try to downplay it like I lost that. Oh, he sold in a bear market. Oh, he sold in this. He, bro, how many of y'all got $50,000 from 3,000? How many of y'all did that? Oh yeah, my, my net worth might have been at what 200,000 at one point in time, and I didn't set it at 200,000. I still turned 3,000 to 50. What y'all get? Like how many people have done that? Are we gonna talk about it? So it, it, it's, it's mind blowing how you all can have this mindset where it's try to criticize, belittle, and try to bring that person down for being honest and telling you the ways that they've learned to mitigate their risk and put themselves in positions to where they can still have conviction in the project, believe that they're gonna hopefully deliver one day, but their whole livelihood isn't dependent on it. They found ways to spread their income and their money across different things where now they're protected. So if this sector blows up, I make money over there. If VV is down, that's gonna be up over there. I'm gonna make money. Oh, if VV just so happens to go up again, VV is up, that might be down. So I'm making money every single way. I'm, I'm making money every place that I'm invested in. While so many people are just fully invested in VV. And they have been digging a hole deeper for themselves, trying to be some, be a part of the cool kids club to say I have true conviction. Just a part of the conversations, you know, I just bought another top the other day. Just to post that tweet on Twitter, Look who I, I just got the matches set just to get a bunch of likes. Bro, you, you, you're you wasting your money for likes? Come on now. This this is really what y'all doing? This, this is why you're here. Because me personally, I've always been in this community to change my, not just my life, but my family's lives. I've, I started investing because I wanted to change my life and my family's life forever. This was never a passion, oh, I'm trying to hold some bullshit from my past. As much as I love the vibe, the community, the, the past feelings of all this stuff, it's about more than that for me. I need the money. I need the returns. I need the profits. That's, that's what I need. And so many people in this community are not genuine because they, they sit here and try to sell you all on that's not what collecting and, 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 and VV is really about, but they need the profits too. That's why they need you to hang on and have hope. Because if, if everyone loses hope, they lose everything. <clears throat> How many people have put their houses on the chopping block? People don't got mortgages on their homes and stuff like this. And notice how the people who do the extreme shit on behalf of Vivi, notice how they end up with jobs for Vivi. Notice how the people who will only speak positive end up with jobs working with Vivi. <clears throat> Personally, when it comes down to business, I don't want anybody on my side who would necessarily attack me, but I want somebody on my side who's gonna keep it real with me. I would That would be the first person I want on my side. I don't need somebody on my side just kissing ass. And most of the influencers and people left in this community are people who need to kiss ass. Because if they're still stuck here in this same position, this, this, this after all this time, they're desperate. And it's been years. You could have found a new hustle. You could have made new, taken some new opportunities. You could have done a lot more. You could have learned how to make money in multiple different ways in all this time. Yet you're still here hanging on to hope for Vivi. And like I said, I'm hanging on too. But if it goes to zero, I'm good. If it blows up, I'm still good. Like I said, there's proper ways to go about investing. But... A lot of people ain't gonna hear me. A lot of people ain't gonna feel it. This is just gonna be thrown in and bun bunched up as one of those, you know, another FUD video from Vail. And I don't care. It doesn't impact me at all. You being scared to see a video from me because you feel like it's gonna take Vivi to shit. Wow how Vivi has fallen, bro. It's at a level where somebody like me can make one video and you're scared that the project will go to shit. You should be scared that your life is going to go to shit if you don't make better decisions. You should become disciplined with the way that you invest in the moves that you make and what you do with your money and how you expect your returns. You should be very, very particular about how you go about 
building up your network net worth and building up your wealth. You should you should you should put in more work and believe in yourself more. Because I made the mistake of putting more trust in Vivi than I had in myself. Then that's when I learned that my biggest superpower was that I was smart enough to see things a lot of people maybe not able to see. And then I'm calm. I'm cool. So if, if I see my investment going down, I'm not going to panic. I'm not, I don't panic sell. I don't stress out. Like, I don't do that. So I started using my strengths, and it's made me successful investing other places as well. So y'all don't got to hear me, but this is for anybody who, who maybe come across this video and you do hear me. You do feel me. I have a network of people that I'm trying to build where it's all about growth. It's all about becoming a better version of ourselves and building wealth together. Because at the end of the day, this VV community is a joke. It's, it's a joke. I'm sorry, but the community has become a joke to me. <clears throat> I would rather have people on my side capable and have the mindsets of doing what it takes to become rich. Because a bunch of rich people on my side, we can get some business done in the future with that. A bunch of people over here crying about a damn Todd. The fuck I'm gonna do with that? I don't need I don't need them clowns on my on my Patreon. If you're serious about taking your life somewhere and actually building things of substance and building things of value and having a network, not just a network which is me for right now for this moment, a network that maybe our kids in the future can be a part of and we can all build something great, bro. Join the Patreon. Have some like-minded people around you. But at the end of the day, it's really up to you. I'm going to promote my Patreon as much as possible because it's hard to find people. And, and I mean, I got to expand this community. I got to expand this channel. So more content is coming. We'll be doing some AI content. We'll be doing some meme coin content. I need to find the people that I need to be around. Because I have mentors and stuff. I have so many people that, that's in my, my own little network. But these guys are massive already. These guys are already... Bro, you got a billion dollar network, bro. Like, I can't even get really inspired by that, bro. You too far away. Like, and I mean, I, I absorb all the game and information and it does help, but it's like, I need somebody waking up right here at the level that I'm at. Like, bro, we doing this shit. We building, like, it's, it's a different vibe and different energy that I'm looking for. So I'm putting that energy out there. So the person who's meant to receive it, receives it and joins the Patreon, bro. But that's pretty much it. More videos coming soon. Be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn notifications, and I will catch you all on the next one. Peace out, fam.